So I was thinking about yesterday's topic, and that's about the circle jerk of stupidity. How people generally tend to proclaim and put on a pedestal how little they know about a topic. Because that's what they see and they develop the association. For example, when I was in high school, I know there were plenty of times where I would get out of a hard test or a really weird lecture, or we would get some homework concept that we didn't understand, and a bunch of people would be like, wow, I don't get this, do you? No, I don't. Isn't that just so stupid? I saw a ton of that, and I see that mentality developing. I can see it if the topic of, say, politics happens to occur in conversation. A bunch of people just joke about how they don't know anything about it. But does that mean that it's a circle jerk of stupidity? I don't want to give up on my species that much, so I searched for any other possible answer as to why people would be doing that. And there is one that came to mind. One big reason why you would proudly proclaim that you don't know anything, and that's humility. And that puts it in a weird light. Is it wrong if it really is humility? Because humility is something that's very rare to come by. It's admitting that you're not something that you would like other people to think that you are. Like, maybe you aren't the big sports star, and you're willing to say that. Like, hey, I'm not the best at sports. Of course, the difference is being smart isn't necessarily cool, so claiming that you are really smart isn't something that's going to put you in the loop. But even if it was, even if it was something that fit that situation, there is still one big difference, or one big problem with this. The idea that it's okay because they are being humble. And that's the fact that they aren't doing anything to fix that. Humility means that you're in a position that you probably shouldn't be. For example, if I'm complaining that I'm so out of shape, that's probably an indication that I should be getting into shape. Maybe not become a bodybuilder or get a beach body, become a lifeguard or the captain of the sports team and be a champion, but I should reasonably get into shape. By that same logic, I don't necessarily have to be a super intelligent mastermind, but it's probably a good thing to know a few things about the world surrounding me. I think that's a pretty good thing, and that's what humility should be. It's not just saying, I am dirt, I suck, because there's no use for that. Everything that's a part of our lives should have some use. If it doesn't have an inherent use, you should find a use for it, because it's an opportunity to grow and be a better person. And the use for humility should be finding opportunities to grow. If you say, oh, I don't know anything about physics, but that interests me, or I should know something about physics, so I'll go out and learn that, that's cool, but if you just say you suck and you don't do anything to improve that, there's no gain. You haven't done anything. You still suck. You still aren't there. So it's not really humility, at least not in a constructive way. It doesn't matter if you acknowledge that you're not very good at something. That doesn't excuse you from working towards being good at it. It's just a reason to avoid the work. Like, I'm humble about things that I'm not good at, like socialization. I suck at that. But I don't use that as an excuse to hide away in my room, or at least I don't ideally do it. I try and go out and meet new people and make friends and socialize. Part of humility is working towards making yourself better, and that should be our ultimate goal. That should be the purpose of every day of your life. That should be the purpose of your existence, to make yourself the best that you can be. And if you aren't doing that, then I just ask, what are you doing with your life? What are you trying to accomplish with your existence? Give yourself purpose, and everything should be oriented around that purpose and finding fulfillment for yourself.